Hello! Today we'll be covering the Bulletin Designer Wizard. Let's jump right in. I've already logged in with my username and password, so I'll go ahead and click on Member Area. Along the top gray tabs, I'm going to click on New Bulletin Beta, and then underneath New Bulletin Beta again. This brings us to our Bulletin Home screen. From here, you can choose to create a new bulletin, or if you scroll down, which I'm going to do with my mouse wheel, you can work on any previously created bulletin by hovering over that bulletin and choosing Open. Today, I'm going to create a new bulletin from one of our pre-existing templates. So I'll scroll back up and click Create Bulletin. As you can see, we've installed several pre-designed templates for you. I'm going to choose three-story layout by hovering over it and clicking once to select it. I'll now click Next. There are four main modes in our new editor. Create, Design, Preview, and Send. We are currently designing this bulletin. To change the title of this bulletin, just click on it. You can change the name or title of the bulletin here. And then scroll down and click Save. I can easily click inside any element to change it. For example, I will type in my Rotary Club's name by hovering over this widget and clicking the pencil icon. Now, to change any image, just double click on the image to bring up its properties. I'm going to click Browse Server to change this yellow rotary wheel. This brings me to my image library. I'm going to select this year's current logo. I'm going to select it by double clicking on the image. I can also change the size of the image. I'm going to change the size from 250 to 150 pixels wide. Because the lock icon is closed, my height also changes automatically. Now I'm going to click OK. Now I'd like to call this issue number 2. To change that, I just hover over volume 1 issue 1, click the pencil icon again, and change the 1 into a 2 and then just click outside the box. Every text field you see is editable. Just click inside the box and change it. Then click outside the box once you're done. Now I'm going to scroll down to these pre-formatted widgets. Pre-formatted widgets are widgets that have already been laid out and designed for you. For example, here we have the title, the text, a read more link, and an image. All these elements are locked into place but can be edited by hovering over them. Preformatted widgets differ from stories because a story is literally a blank page. To see a list, of all the different categories or types of widgets. I'm going to click here on content and this brings up my list of widgets. Click this, the title of the widget category to hide that category. You can now see all the different types of widget categories that we have. Click on any category name to show or hide it. I'm going to keep 
this first preformatted widget. But I'd like to erase the following two. To do this, I will hover over the next preformatted widget and click the X button to remove the widget from this page. I've now removed the bottom two preformatted widgets. To edit this first preformatted widget, I'll just click inside any of the sections and begin to edit. Notice that in a preformatted widget, I can click and change the Read More link. I'm going to point this Read More to google.com. But of course, you can choose to point this Read More link to any custom URL or to any of these other options built inside Clubrunner. I'm now going to choose Open Link in New Window, and then I'll click Save. Now I'm going to add the Bulletin's Stories widget. It's contained here inside the Essentials tab. I will now drag Bulletin Stories underneath my preformatted widget and place it where it says Drop Here. My Stories widget now appears. I don't have any Stories inside. To add a Story, I'll hover over the Stories widget and click either here or here to edit this widget. You can, of course, create a new Story, but I'm going to choose to add a Story that I've already written by clicking here. I'm now going to choose just one Story you can, of course, choose as many as you'd like by checking the box beside the story name. I'm now going to scroll down and click Done. If I scroll through my bulletin now, you'll see that I've added my new story. I'd also like to list some upcoming events that I have inside this bulletin. To do so, I will hover and click on the events section which reveals the events category. I'm now going to take bulletin upcoming events and drag it into place underneath my stories. I'd like to emphasize upcoming events so I'm going to hover over upcoming events and I will click and hold over these six small dots. This allows me to move this widget up or down anywhere I choose. So I'm going to put it just after the welcome text. And once I let go of my mouse, it now places upcoming events after my welcome text. The last thing I'm going to do is scroll down and change this text because it's white on gray it's very hard to read. To change the text I'm going to hover over it and once again I will click here. I'm going to make this text red but of course you can choose any color you'd like. Once I'm done I will scroll down and click Save and Publish. Now let's have a look at our bulletin cleanly by going into the preview mode. The preview mode lets you see the entire bulletin without any obstructions in your way and you can see that this bulletin is starting to look pretty good. If I wanted to make any changes I would go back to the design step. Instead I'm going to move ahead and send this bulletin. So I'll click here on the next step, which is send. You can now decide who will get your bulletin. 
your active members, other users, custom contact groups. I'll go ahead and click the plus sign beside active and honorary members. I'm going to expand the list and choose just myself. Clicking here and then clicking the done button. This bulletin now has one recipient. I can choose to change the email subject by highlighting the text, clicking delete on my keyboard, and typing in any new bulletin title. I will absolutely archive this bulletin after sending, meaning once it's sent, it will be archived and locked. It can't be edited any longer. I will choose not to copy myself on the bulletin, and I will choose send now to send this bulletin right now. You can also choose to send a test bulletin to yourself before you send to the rest of your club. This will allow you to send a test email to yourself. You can view the email in the email program of your choice. And if everything is good, you can go ahead and click the orange send button. Because I've already previewed the bulletin, I'm going to go ahead and click the orange send button right away. And then I'll click OK. That's it. I have now sent my bulletin and the bulletin is now archived. You won't be able to see the email delivery stats right away. You will have to give the bulletin some time to send to your recipients. Or if you'd like to start on your next bulletin, just click this green button right here. Thank you for viewing this tutorial on our new bulletin designer.